This is a short video to explain and demonstrate Young Industries Transflow technology. Transflow fluidization media is a smooth, porous, 316 stainless steel centered metal product that offers very controlled permeability and distribution of compressed air. By introducing this slow volume, low pressure air to powders through a gas plenum, the powder becomes fluidized and conditioned. The conditioning effect with powders occurs by adding compressed gas to the powder, which changes the flow characteristics. The compressed gas homogenizes with the powder to take on fluid-like properties. Another important effect is that by permeating the gas through the smooth surface of the transflow media, the friction factor of the transflow surface is very low and powders will flow with almost no frictional resistance. It's like an air hockey game in an arcade. We have found that transflow technology is effective on a wide range of powders and is currently being used on powders having bulk densities from 2 to 300 pounds per cubic foot. Since the transflow material is a thin piece of 316 stainless steel, it can be bent, formed, and welded into hopper cones, downspouts, nozzles, and rectangular pads. Young Industries' philosophy is that if a piece can be fabricated from sheet metal, it can also be fabricated from transflow fluidizing media. The items shown are an example of pieces fabricated from transflow. The result is that transflow can be used in most all areas where powder flow problems occur. For the transflow demonstration, we are testing the 60 degree conical hopper that's in our test lab. The cone is lined with transflow fluidization media. The hopper is 20 inch diameter and has a discharge that is 4 inch diameter. We'll be testing magnesium silicate powder, which is typical of some of the fine powders we handle. It has poor flow characteristics and tends to bridge and arch in conventional hoppers. We've loaded powder into the hopper. We'll first open the gate valve at the hopper discharge, and I would expect this product to bridge and not flow from the hopper. We'll then open the compressed air valve to the hopper to introduce compressed air at 2 psi g to the transflow cone. The result is that the product will flow freely from the hopper. Okay, Ray, open the uh, knife feed valve. You can see the product bridged, nothing flowed out of the hopper. Okay, let's turn on the transflow fluidization. There's the transflow on. And it's gone. Okay, ready to turn the air off. This powder fluidized well with a very low am amount of compressed air. The controlled permeability of the transflow material distributed the air to all areas of the hopper. This is a good demonstration of how transflow fluidization works. That concludes the demonstration of Young Industries Transflow Technology. If you have a powder that you would like tested, please contact Young Industries and we will, be, we will be more than happy to help you with your testing. Please keep Young Industries in mind for your future bulk material handling needs. Thank you.